Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my quick Kuva Lich guide. I'll be going over the Kuva Lich system as quickly as I can to help explain it in a concise manner. So without further ado, let's get right into it. A Kuva Lich is your personal mortal enemy that will slowly attempt to take over control of the star chart and steal your rewards while trying to kill you. A Kuva Lich can be weakened by other players but can only be defeated by the player that created the Lich. Before we get into creating your Kuva Lich, it's important to ensure you have all Requiem mods farmed and ready in your inventory before you create a Kuva Lich. Requiem mods are special mods which are required to defeat the Kuva Lich and are equipped on your Parazon. These drop from Requiem Relics which are best farmed by completing Kuva Siphon missions. You don't actually have to complete the Kuva Siphon part of the missions though, just complete the main objective. Kuwa Flirt Siphons guarantee a Requiem Relic each time. Once you have all 8 mods farmed, it's time to initiate your Kuva Lich journey. Kuva Liches spawn from Kuva Larvelings. Kuva Larvelings can appear on any level 20 or higher Grinier faction node on the star chart. The easiest is Cassini on Saturn. Before you enter, keep in mind that the status effect of the Kuva Lich and his weapon will be determined by the progenitor Warframe used to kill the Larveling. If you're looking for a toxin Kuva weapon, then you'd want to use Atlas, Ivara, Korra, Sarin, etc. Complete the capture objective as usual, after which you'll see flashing yellow lights, indicating the presence of a Kuva Larveling. This flashing initiates a hidden timer to make the Larveling appear, similar to how a Juggernaut appears. Just kill a few enemies and you'll get an audio cue from a Kuva Guardian. Approach and kill the Larveling and you'll be able to see what Kuva weapon your Lich will use. If it's not the weapon of your choice, ignore the Larveling for 30 seconds and it'll die automatically. Exit the mission and repeat till you get the weapon you want. When you're ready, Mercy kill the Larveling. Your Kuva Lich is now live. On your navigation, you'll find a new icon on the bottom right, leading you to the Kuva Lich's profile, showcasing its weaknesses resistances, as well as the bonus status damage he'll provide to the Kuva weapon in question. You can also see the Kuva Lich's anger meter. You'll see red dots on your star chart which correlate to the parts of the star chart under your Lich's control. Completing these missions will make the Lich angry, filling his anger meter and once he's angry enough he'll appear in missions to kill you, which is your chance to return the favour. The Kuva Lich will steal a small portion of your rewards for every mission completed on a node controlled by the Kuva Lich. These items will only be returned to you once the Kuva Lich is defeated. Defeating a Kuva Lich is fairly simple. You'll need to put in 3 Requiem mods in your Parazon in a specific order and stab the Kuva Lich 3 times to defeat him. However, to identify which mods you'll need, out of the 8 available, you'll need Murmurs. Murmurs are basically whisper fragments which help you identify the mods you need. Farming Murmurs is straightforward. Head to a Kuva Lich control node and Thralls will start to spawn. Thralls are enemies controlled by the Lich and Mercy killing them grants a Murmur. Murmur farming can be done solo or in a group and it doesn't matter whose Kuva Lich controls a Thrall that spawns. As long as it's a Thrall, it'll give a Murmur to the whole squad. Occasionally, a Kuva Lich may spawn before you've obtained enough Murmurs to reveal a mod. This is if you made him angry enough or if it's another player's Lich. If the player who created the Lich isn't ready to kill the Lich, the Kuva Lich should be left alive. The Lich will convert enemies nearby him to Thralls. Thralls spawn up to a maximum of 10 per mission. However, letting the Kuva Lich convert enemies into Thralls allows for an additional 10 to spawn. This significantly speeds up Murmur farming. 
Take note that a Kuvalich that is downed three times without any attempt to mercy kill him will flee without ranking up. Once you've obtained enough murmurs to reveal your first Requiem mod, equip that mod in the first slot on your Parazon. And then it's time to attempt to mercy kill the Lich. Once the Kuva Lich spawns in a mission, get his shields down and his first health bar down to 5%. He'll now be downed for a few seconds, giving you the time to use your Parazon on him. If the mod was in the right slot, his bar of health will be completely destroyed. If not, the Lich will rank up and leave. If it's the latter, then you now know this mod can only fit in one of the two remaining slots. You can always check the Kuva Lich profile screen to confirm whether or not the mod was in the right slot. If it was, the mod will show as a golden icon, and if it was wrong, it will show as a red crossed out icon. Continue murmur farming. Once you reveal the second mod, put it in the first slot that's still unknown. This depends on the outcome of the first attempt. So if your first mod was in the correct slot, then the next unknown would be the second slot, vice versa. Now mercy kill the Kuva Lich again, this time you will guarantee the position of at least one mod. Repeat the whole process one last time and you should now know the sequence and the mods required. One last showdown with your Kuva Lich. You'll stab him three times with each Requiem mod equipped, destroying his three bars of health. Once defeated, you have a choice to make, whether you want to vanquish the Kuva Lich, granting you his weapon, or convert him to an ally, making him tradable with other players. This is completely up to you. Once your choice is made, all the items the Kuva Lich stole will be returned to you at the end of the mission. And now when you go back to your navigation, the Kuva Lich's icon is gone. If you vanquished him, the weapon will be in your foundry. That's basically all you need to know about Kuva Liches. A quick note about Valence Fusion, a feature that allows players to combine two similar Kuva weapons together to obtain a different status effect and a higher damage boost. It isn't worth pursuing Valence Fusion until you have all the good Kuva weapons farmed already. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to help. With that, I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie, signing out. Take care guys.